Hey, this is Dave Mabel of Cyclocross Magazine with Katie F. and Compton. Katie, how are you doing today? I'm uh, doing okay, a little sore um, uh, and frustrated with myself, but uh, like overall, okay, yeah. Yeah, well, listen, it's a, it's a warm day in Iowa. It's the first mm -hmm, World mm -hmm. Cup. Um, you were rolling up there. I mean, you were mm -hmm. uh, on podium grounds <laughs> there. And then I see you come through shaking a hand in maybe 19th, 20th place. Yeah. What happened? So I had a I had an okay start. It wasn't awesome because I got kind of stuck in traffic. Um, but I salvaged it, and by the second lap, I was doing pretty well. And then I'm not sure if it was the second or third lap, but um, Katarina had kind of attacked not attacked but accelerated over the top of the hill. I was behind Sophie, and uh, I passed Sophie on the descent. And then when I was exiting descent, I was just trying to carry speed. It was fun, so I was just going fast, and it was slightly too fast for the line I was taking, I guess. And um, I crash I just either clipped my foot on the hay bale or put my wheel my front wheel underneath the banner and hit a stake I don't know but I just hit hard on the ground and dropped my chain and hit my head and kind of hit my shoulder so I just had to like fuck myself and put the chain back on by the time I did that I had lost quite a bit of time I think I was in last so super frustrated because it was just a stupid crash I shouldn't have done it like I should have just slowed it down a bit and just kept it upright but uh, got to the pit got a bike change and then just started picking people off so so you're picking people off. It's yeah. World Cup, so it's good competition that you're picking yeah. off. Yeah. Um, and uh, and you are, I mean, you were in podium contention before that <laughs> Which happened. Which is way why I'm like super frustrated with myself. Because it would have been enough. a good result otherwise. <laughs> uh, so you've got track yeah. in a week. Yeah. Uh, how's it looking for that? I'm um, pretty good. Like my form is obviously good. I, as long as I keep the bike up right, that should be fine. Um, so and I'm gonna get my ch shoulder checked out. So make sure it's not broken or. I don't know, it could just be a bruise or a strain, I'm not sure, but uh, get that checked out, but I'm definitely racing next weekend, so it just depends on how much pain <laughs> I'll be in, at least in the upper body, and lower legs, for sure pain, but like upper body, I'd really like that not to hurt, so we'll see. Um, we, we really don't ever want that to hurt, no. so yeah, you're fair there. <laughs> So, uh, I know you're not from Wisconsin, but yeah. you've been with Trek a long time. Does yep. it feel like you're going home for a race? It does, because, like, you know, I've, I go to Trek Waterloo quite a bit, and, like, you know, the employees there are awesome. Like, the support of Trek's been great. So, it's one of those, like, yeah, it's a pretty easy place to go and race. And then I'll have, like, their support, and then just we're driving to Trek on Monday. So, you know, I have the whole week to be there. So, Hopefully um, everything will go well and I'll keep the bike upright and have good results. So I really want that. Like the fitness is good. I just want to have a good race. Cool. Well, uh, sorry about your uh, day today, <laughs> but uh, we'll look for you on the podium perhaps next weekend. Hopefully. Yeah. I just have to race better. So. <laughs> Thanks for spending some time with us. All right. Thank you.